Welcome to everybody here to this groundbreaking at Texas Wesleyan University. We actually managed to get some ground and bring it in here. <laughs> we did not want to inconvenience everybody after the rain yesterday. We didn't want to inconvenience everybody and have you slashing around in all that mud over there at the dig site. There's lots of dirt over there and it's all wet now. So, <laughs> so we improvise. My name is Glenn Lewis and I have the distinct honor and privilege to serve as the chairman of the Board of Trustees here at my alma mater, Texas Wesleyan University. And I am here to welcome you. I also stand here on behalf of our entire Board of Trustees. And I know that there are a number of us here with the other members of the Board of Trustees. Please stand. <laughs> Including our immediate past chairman, Mr. Tim Carter. I, I am also pleased to see so many of our alumni and friends here. I wish we could have done this outside, but uh, as I said, it would have been a terrible inconvenience to you all. I want to thank our partners for, for helping with this project. This is a great day, not only for Texas Wesleyan University, but the entire city of Fort Worth, and more specifically, the east side of Fort Worth. Um, I am a person who has grown up and spent his entire life in East Fort Worth, and I can tell you I cannot remember the last time this kind of investment was made on Rosedale Street in East Fort Worth. <laughs> Mr. Costa, I know that makes you happy too. <laughs> uh, Mr. Costa works in the city of Fort Worth and they've worked with us as partners and I know he's real pleased to see this happen, as are we all. We hope that this new facility will represent our commitment to not only learning, which is something that Texas Wesleyan has always been committed to, but it represents our commitment to this community. And there will be more coming. Stay tuned. I'm also here to uh, uh, bring the invocation. Uh, normally, when we're at our meetings, uh, we have Bishop Lowry or some of the other men of the cloth who do that, but. Uh, Y'all will have to uh, allow for this Baptist deacon to, to suffice <laughs> in, bringing, in bringing the invocation this morning. May we bow our heads. God of our fathers and our mothers, thou who was there in the beginning and thou who will be there in the end, we acknowledge you as the giver and sustainer of every good and perfect gift. We invoke your presence with us here this morning, and we hope that what springs from this groundbreaking is something that goes out and serves the entire world, the people who live in this facility. It will be their launching pad to go out and do great works in this entire world, and we hope that it's pleasing in your sight. In, your in the precious name of your son, Jesus, we, we pray. Amen. We now have a brilliant student here who is going to sing the national anthem for us, Miss Mallory Hogan. She is a Texas Wesleyan music major. Miss Hogan.
flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, Mallory, for that absolutely phenomenal rendition of the national anthem. Um, now you know why she recently won the Sigma Alpha Iota American Music Competition. We're so very, very proud of you. Um, and thank you, Glenn, um, for your leadership as the chair of our board of trustees. Um, the, uh, the folks who put this program together allotted me, for five, allotted me five minutes, and you know there's an occupational hazard for university presidents to speak too long, so you know that's not going to happen. Um, but I do want to uh, welcome all of you here today and to talk a little bit about this, this new wonderful facility that's going to be built uh, across the street. The addition of the Rosedale Residential Apartments um, just steps from the heart of the university's campus is the latest example of the commitment we've made to um, immerse our students in the community here in East Fort Worth that we've called home since 1890. The key components of our new Engage 2025 strategic plan include enhanced learning, diversity, inclusion, student life, civic responsibility, and economic opportunity, empowering our student success while revitalizing our campus uh, and our neighborhood. The Rosedale helps us fulfill that mission and that vision by allowing our students to learn, work, and live within our East Fort Worth neighborhood, enabling them to plant long-lasting roots and build strong relationships that will benefit our community for generations to come. We pride ourselves in offering a strong and diverse academic program at Texas Wesleyan, and we remain committed to our smaller, smarter emphasis on individualized attention and student engagement in the classroom. But we also recognize that student engagement outside the classroom is critically important to our students' college experience. The Rosedale will help us develop an even stronger community of engaged student learners. This new $10.5 million student residential complex is also another step forward in the remarkable transformation of our campus and our Polytechnic Heights neighborhood. Over the last 10 years, the university has invested more than $50 million in our campus and in our neighborhood to revitalize our area. Those projects included the Rosedale Renaissance, the Martin University Center, acquisition and renovation of the East Rosedale retail spaces, renovation of dormitories and Dora's Dining Hall, as well as many other campus enhancements. And all of that is in addition to the major multi-million dollar investments that the city of Fort Worth, Tarrant County, and the state of Texas have made in our community. The Rosedale, the uh, anticipated completion date is July 1st of 2022. The Rosedale will serve 101 students. The uh, Rosedale will include amenities such as a lounge with large screen televisions, a weight room, a gym, study rooms, a conference room, a rooftop patio, plus an on-site secure parking uh, lot with 101 spaces for each resident um, of the facility. This exciting project was designed with Texas Wesleyan students in mind to allow them to flourish and to persist to graduation and to help us fulfill our mission to change the world by changing lives one student at a time. So now the time has come to thank some folks for helping us get here uh, quite frankly, the major investment would not have happened without the assistance of so many. I'd first like to recognize the role that the Texas Wesleyan Advisory Task Force on Economic Revitalization and the President's Advisory Board had in providing us with the kind of advice we needed to make the decision to build this facility on East Rosedale to continue 
the economic revitalization that was begun with the Rosedale Renaissance. I know many members of the task force and of the President's Advisory Board are here with us today, and I want to say thank you. I'd also like to recognize Tim Carter, who was chair of the Texas Wesleyan Board of Trustees, and Vicki Stevens, who was the chair of the Finance and Audit Committee while we developed this project, and the entire board for their support for this and many other essential initiatives of the university. Many of our university staff performed extraordinary work in the development of the project. The Director of Purchasing, Debbie Cabot, who conducted the RFP process that resulted in the selection of our wonderful, wonderful development partners, Dodson Commercial Real Estate, Panteras Development, and Miyama USA, Texas. The University Council and Chief of Staff, Patty Gerhard Turner, for her management of all the legal and logistical efforts. Facilities Executive Director, Brian Franks, and his team for coordinating the university's side of the construction process. Vice President Dennis Hall and his team in the Division of Student Affairs who helped our development partners connect with our students to assess their needs and make sure that this would be a facility that would allow them to thrive. And the Texas Wesleyan Office of Marketing and Communication assisted with the public relations and campus community outreach for today's groundbreaking. And a very special thank you to Jerry Schooley, Christian Garcia Womack, and the team in the Office of Advancement for all the hard work that they put into planning and coordinating the logistics for today's ceremony. So thank you to all of you who had such a significant role in getting us to where we are today. Thank you. Before I invite a couple of other folks to speak, I want to introduce a few special guests that we have with us today. If you'd please stand when I call your name, City Councilman Chris Nettles who represents the university and the Poly Heights neighborhood on the Fort Worth City Council. Chris, thank you for being here. Robert Stearns, the City of Fort Worth D Director of Economic Development. Robert, are you here today? He was hoping he would be able to make it. Brandon Gingelbach, the President and CEO of the Fort Worth Chamber of Commerce. Brandon? Brandon was here earlier. I think he had to go to a, there was a Fort Worth ISD event uh, that was taking place as well. Dee Jennings, the President and CEO of the Metropolitan Black Chamber of Commerce. Dee, thank you. <laughs> Annette Landeros, the President and CEO of the Fort Worth Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Annette, were you able to join us today? She was hoping to be able to make it. And Stacy Marshall, the President of Southeast Fort Worth, Inc. Stacy, there you are. At this time, I'd like to invite to the podium Megan Lewis, the president of the Student Government Association. She will be followed by Alex Bryant, the president of Brokerage and Development with Dodson Commercial Real Estate and managing member of Panteras Development, and Sawako Miyama, president and COO of Miyama USA, Texas. Please join me in welcoming Megan Lewis, the president of Texas Wesleyan University's Student Government Association. Megan. On behalf of the Texas Wesleyan student body, I want to add my word of thanks and appreciation to the many who have helped make this dream become a reality. As a Wesleyan student, there are many things to be proud of, and the development of the Rosedale co apartment complex adds the excitement. Speaking on behalf of the student body, I want to say how exciting it is to be able to watch the Rosedale be completed. We look forward to having a residential option on apartment housing option on campus. I, for one, am particularly excited about the rooftop housing or the rooftop patio, <laughs> and I'm very excited about all the events that are gonna be hosted there. Thank you to everyone again for participating in this project to make it become true. Good morning, I'm Alex Bryant, uh, developer, uh, president of development and brokerage for Dodson Commercial, and managing member of Contreras Development. Um, thank you, Fred. Very hard act to follow, Mallory. Um, but, uh, you know, when we started this two years ago, I think we were all hoping to maybe having a ribbon cutting uh, in the next 30 days or so. But, um, you know, due to COVID, uh, that didn't happen. Um, you know, it's been great working with the university. So many people to thank uh, the students that participated uh, in our interview process, the city of Fort Worth, and helping us get creative to get from submitting for building permit to getting a grading permit to getting a foundation permit and now finally getting it replatted um, to our neighbors uh, in, in and along Rosedale on the block that, that um, 
have so graciously helped us vacate an alley that was dire to the success of the project going forward. Um, and to our wonderful team, 97W, Wade Construction, my partner, Jake Proctor, Tim Carter for telling me two years ago that, hey, I've got an idea. I don't know if it's gonna, gonna work out, but would you have an interest in taking a look at it? And I said, sure. And to Fred believing in our team and Sawako being our equity partner, none of this could have happened without, without a, a heck of an effort from everybody. So thank you so much. And we're ecstatic to be a part of this. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, my name is Sawako Miyama with Miami USA Texas. On behalf of Miami USA Texas, I want to thank President Flayback and Texas Wesleyan University for choosing us to partner for this project. I want to thank our partners, Alex Bryant, Jake Proctor, for giving us this incredible opportunity. I also want to thank our project team, including Stephen Holliday with 97W, who designed the Rosedale and Wade Construction the GC for this project. The Miyama family is originally from Japan with over 400 year history uh, and over 20 generations, so we always have a long-term vision in our business. Since our company was founded in Dallas in 1990, we have built and invested in many student housing projects, and we have also donated schools in Cambodia. It goes back to when Takeharu Miyama, my father, and the company's chairman made a bicycle trip across the US in the mid 70s. When he had a chance to stay at the dorms after becoming friends with some college students, he saw the undesirable environment in those dorms. That's when he decided someday to come back to the US and change the student housing for a better experience. Supporting schools and students to pursue their dreams has always been our passion. We're not the most prominent student housing company in the industry. We like to find the right university for us to grow. We discovered that we share the same value with Texas Wesleyan University, as the university's slogan is smarter, smarter. We like to keep our company smarter so that we, always, we are always reachable. And as part of the university's mission is a student-centered university, our philosophy is always residents come first, we listen to residents' voices, which is why we don't typically build and sell the projects. We like to keep our properties long-term and manage our assets to continue improving our services and enhancing the student housing experience. For the Rosedale project, we will work with the student affairs team to be a seamless experience for the students from the application process to after they move in. The Rosedale offers various amenities, including one-to-one -one parking, a study lab, conference room, based on feedback from faculty and students, thanks to Dennis Hall and his team. They arranged the multiple sessions and gave us a tour of the existing residence halls. With President Slayback's excellent leadership and visions, we are so thrilled to be part of their strategic plan and provide us modern cutting edge on campus housing to their students for years to come. We hope this Rosedale project becomes a game changer for the university and the neighborhood and becomes an oasis for the students while pursuing their dreams. My father always taught me that our business must be win, 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 so we want the students to win first, so that the university to win and the city of Fort Worth and the neighborhood to win, so that our projects to become successful. We are looking forward to this long-term partnership with Texas Wesleyan University to continue to support their growth. Thank you so much for being here today to celebrate this special day. Thank you. Thank you, Sawako. We really appreciate everything that you have brought to the table. You've been such a wonderful partner, uh, you and your family. I was so uh, pleased to be able to meet uh, many of the members of your family when we were going through this process, and it's just wonderful to be able to have that kind of uh, personal and familiar relationship uh, with the group. And also, thank you, uh, Alex, for um, everything that you all have been doing. Actually, Alex, as you were talking about all the different logistical steps that needed to take place, I'm reminded 
um, that, and we have as our guest here today, uh, Fernando Costa, who is the Assistant City Manager, was so extremely helpful in uh, working through the many issues that we have with the city. So, uh, Fernando, thank you so very, very much. <laughs> Okay, so now it's time for us to try to turn some dirt. Um, we've, we've all gotten used to, during the pandemic, of having virtual meetings, so today we're going to have a virtual groundbreaking ceremony um, with uh, some dirt up here on the program. Now, um, I've got a number of people that I, that I would like to invite to participate in the, uh, the, the dirt turning process, so we're going to actually break it into two groups. The first group will be those of us here on the platform party. And then uh, when we finished, I'd like to ask uh, Dee Jennings, the chair and CEO of the Metropolitan Black Chamber of Commerce, Chris Nettles, the city council member, and uh, Stacy Marshall, uh, the president of Southeast Fort Worth, Inc., uh, and Tim Carter, the immediate past chair of the board, to come in the second group so that we can have another dirt uh, turning uh, ceremony with all of you as well. So why don't we grab some shovels? Um, and I think we've got some hard hats as well. Probably don't need the hard hats today. I think we're ready for some football. Just a few weeks and the, um, the Texas Wesleyan Rams uh, will take the field and I hope everybody will be able to be here for that. Thank you all so very, very much for being here with us today um, and helping us celebrate the groundbreaking for the Rosedale Residential Facility. Um, please uh, stick around and visit and, and talk with folks and there's some refreshments um, that are right out in, in the hallway outside. Um, for those of you who are on the President's Advisory Board, we do have um, our meeting coming up here in just a few minutes. Um, and if you would like to make your way over to the Baker Building, which is just directly across the street, across Wesleyan Street, um, there are refreshments and, and uh, the meeting is, we'll, we'll pick up there, we'll begin at 1130. So thank you all again very, very much. Thanks again to our private development partners, Miyama USA Texas and the Panteras. Um, group and thank you all so very very much for being a part of this wonderful opportunity. Thanks.
sir.